Hey guys, Jared here from Focus Group Florida Keller Williams Realty. Today we're talking about uh, determining the price and terms from your, for your house to sell. Okay, so we've already put, put together a marketing plan. We're in the process of preparing the house to sell itself. Now we need to determine the price and the terms. This is where your professional realtor can really help out. We have all the access to all of the data that makes it much more easy for us to collect it and see who sold nearby, the homes that are similar to yours, and what type of adjustments need to be made to, made to those comparable prices um, so that you can get a really good market value for your house. Um, the pricing is almost the number one thing um, that you've got to consider as a seller. Of course, everybody wants to get as much as they possibly can for their house and sell it in the smallest amount of time. Everybody's in the same boat. That's exactly what everybody tries to do. Okay, so we talked about preparing and making it clean and all of that business and making it move and ready with no projects, but you also have to be realistic uh, most of the people that are going to be uh, purchasing homes that are for sale are going to be using financing. And if they're using financing, then the bank is going to be using homes nearby uh, to use in their appraisals that are using for the mortgage loans. So if you've got a home similar to yours, 3,000 square feet, two-car garage with a pool, and down the street it's sold for 300, and yours is basically the same plan, especially if it's in a builder neighborhood where they sell the same floor plans, Yes, you may have put uh, another fountain in, you may have redone some floors and there may be some adjustments, but it's probably gonna be very similar to the value that just sold. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, unless you get lucky and there's some cash buyer who does not know the relative price of homes in the area, that's what's going to happen. Uh, the reverse is also true. You have a beautiful thousand square foot bungalow, no garage, very small home site. Down the street, one sold for 300,000 because it's a very desirable area. The bank can use that as a comparable sale. Uh, so it goes both ways. Uh, but when we really work on the, the, the pricing, you really have to um, look at the data and see what's going on to know what the bank's going to do. Um, number two, we talk about the price and the terms. Now the terms are things like, uh, how many days are you gonna allow for a home inspection? Um, how many, um, when will you need to move out? How many days you need to close? Um, especially if you're needing to buy another house after you sell your house. Uh, what does that need to look like? Um, are you going to be offering a warranty? Uh, what type of financing will you allow? Will you only allow cash buyers? Or does your house qualify for VA, FHA, or USDA financing? Things like that. So those are some things to consider when you're, um, when you're preparing your house to sell and determining the price and the terms um, and what you're going to list and market your house up. And your professional realtor can help with all that. So uh, this is Jared again signing off. Um, if you know anybody at work or church looking to sell, please refer them on. And we will see you in our future videos. Bye for now.